Good afternoon, people. As you can see, I have transformed my study corner into a DIY craft corner. So, this is a craft I am attempting to make. It's called a DIY rainbow wall decoration. Hi, before I publish this video, I just wanted to come here real quick and say that filming this kind of um, DIY craft session in English was surprisingly difficult as I'm not that familiar with the vocabulary and that's why I will be using some weird words, most likely incorrect vocabulary, but I hope you don't mind that and I hope that you will be able to understand what I'm trying to say. And also I will link the blog post I used as an inspiration for this craft in the description box. But now back to the video. Bye! I have actually started this uh, already, so basically you just need to spin the yarn around this macrame yarn. This is the technique I'm going for. I don't know if there's a faster technique, there probably is, but my melted brain couldn't think of anything better. So, this will take time. So, this is almost finished. Now I just need a needle so that I can stick um, these ends inside the macrame yarn uh, so that they don't stick out like this and can be hidden. So let's see how this goes. I don't actually know. Well, let's start with this one. Let's see how this goes. I mean, I don't think it looks too bad. Well, it could be better, but it could definitely be worse. And here it is. Still looks like a worm, but no can do. On to the next one. This yarn is actually thinner than this one, so I don't know if the end result is gonna look good, but We'll see. Through trial and error is my style. Okay, hi again. It's much later, but I have actually made some progress. I will show you. So, uh, these two pieces are new. The light pink one and the beige one. So, you can kind of see how this will look like. I think I made this a bit too big, but we'll see. I think this might need one or two more pieces because it looks kind of thin. Hi there! It's the next day and I'm continuing with this craft project. So I am going to add at least one more piece to this rainbow. This is the take number I don't even know because Apparently, I am not able to talk. So, what I have been trying to say for the past five minutes is that I have made some progress. I added two pieces, uh, the light pink one and the brown one, and now this is almost finished. Also, um, I sewed all the pieces together, as you might see from the other side, and it's not quite... Si uh, it's not quite symmetrical, as you can see, this side is worse, but I tried. My mom and sister said that this doesn't look like a rainbow, but it is. Period. So here's a wooden pearl made by my dad, and now I'm gonna do some final touches with this one. So, let's see. Now the wooden pearl is finished and I attached this yarn into it and now I'm gonna sew it together with this whole piece. We'll see how that goes. Yes, it is finally done. 
I don't know how many hours I spent on um, crafting this little rainbow, but I think it looks kind of cute. And I will definitely hang this on my wall. But thank you for joining me uh, on this crafting session. See you later. Bye! Hi there and happy 1st of May! Um, I came to my relative's cottage with my family and we're going to spend some time here because um, the 1st of May is a holiday here in Finland so we're just gonna spend some time together eat some 1st of May donuts and grilled sausage and enjoy the nature Basically, there's no one else here, just my family and I, and our cat is here as well. So, yeah, it's kind of cold, but Dad is making a fire, so I think this day will be quite fun. An old school phone. Let's see if I can call anyone. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Can you hear me? No. No one's there. Okay, that was very fun, I know. No, sweetheart, we are not gonna go swimming. <laughs> She's so excited. Oh, 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 now I am in trouble. Donuts taste so good. My mom and sister and I made this yesterday and I wish I could eat this every day. These are very unhealthy but very good. Mm. I'm grilling this sausage for my mom. I'm not eating it myself but making it for my mommy. And then we use this one. Oops. So this is how we grill sausages on a fire. A traditional Finnish way of cooking, I guess. And it's finished. I think I might actually take a bite of this myself, because it looks good. We drove past the cellar over there, and now it is time to check out what is there behind that door? Oh, it smells like mold, but let's see. Oh, it smells really bad. Can you even see anything? Oh. You definitely cannot see anything. Ooh. Hey, elä päästä. No, no, elä päästä Mirja, tuossa jotakin kuoleita ötököitä. Ah, Missä? Ah. Osuuko niihin? Ei. Okay, um... There are dead animals. Oh no, oh no, what are those? I don't know if you can see. They look like squirrels. Oh, that's... That's like a skeleton. Oh, can you see it? So gross. I thought there would be some kind of stairs down, but no. Just 
dead animals. That's actually so horrible. I have never seen those kind of skeletons. Is that like a skeleton of a rat or something? Oh, and there's another one just, just at the door. That's definitely a squirrel. Oh man. Just wondering, how did they got inside? And if they got inside, how come they didn't get outside? Oh, that's so horrible. They must have starved to death. Okay, I think it's time to go. This was far worse than I expected. I'm now walking here with my mom. And she was actually born in this area. I will soon show you the house she was born in. But yeah, she has been telling me about people that used to live in these houses. And it's quite nice. So as you can see, this is definitely countryside. There are near houses and older buildings. But overall looks quite nice and peaceful. So here behind me you can see the house my mom was born in. So I guess you could call this my uh, grandma's place but no one has been living here for years and as you can see the house is really not habitable anymore but yeah my mom was born here but they moved out when she was um, I guess five or six now if you can see anything not really in this building there was a garage and sauna and over here is an old barn or cowhouse, whatever is the term in English but yeah here my mom spent her childhood as you can see these buildings are not in a good shape anymore but it is nice to picture my mom here with her siblings and parents running around when they were children and I'm here now that's kind of cool so we don't come here often but when we do it feels kind of special or I don't know I, I think I can't really say nostalgic but yeah it feels special because everything just looks and feels so old something completely different compared to where I live now where we live now and how the world is nowadays I think we are gonna head home soon just letting the cat sniff the fresh air for a moment longer but I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope you are doing well during this quarantine um, I am doing okay, sometimes better, sometimes not so well, but I'm managing, I hope you are too. And if you liked this video, then press the thumbs up button maybe, and maybe we'll see you, uh, maybe we'll see you, and maybe I'll see you again one day, we'll see. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye.